Welcome back. So, Lord's Meal's just over there. We'll go grab that, then we'll do... The Fee's Guild Quest, and then we'll do Ebony Blade. And there's also the one for Anders in the fucking crypt as well, but we'll get that at some other point. And I've got the Ebony Blade at some other point, to be honest. And there's still... There's a brief here to do. The Ebony Mail. Did I get Ebony Mail already? No, I've already got the Ebony Mail. I'm missing... A couple artifacts. One of them is oh, save your hide. Another one's Namira's ring. Yeah, save your hide and Namira's ring. The only two dirt artifacts I haven't got, other than the empty blade, and I'm not getting Namira's ring. Um, save your hide. Do I want that or not? To be honest, I. If it was near the start of the game, I would probably get it. If it's near the end, um, no. Just to be honest with you, the armor is not that for all you to take. So we'll be taking the werewolf ring, person's ring, which is gotten by helping out. What's his face? Saving him, sparing him. Yes, we'll spare him and. Who you tell? Is this different colored? I like your robes. No, it's different colored hoods. Why would the Likir be trying to disgrace the Empire? Yeah, that does not make sense in any way whatsoever. Now that's a very vague way of telling you to get, go to a shrine of Tenerife. And that does not make sense, I like you're using magic. The Red Guard are supposed to abhor magic users. Again. Someone has made a mod without reference in the actual fucking lore. Uh, this is why I don't download quest modes. Because people inevitably do not pay attention. They try to add them snippets of the lore and don't actually know it all and then they fuck up with that. Why is in leak here using magic? You're supposed to abhor it. Well not abhor but you know. According to What's his fucking face in Shaden Hall? They don't like magic in Hammerfall. Hammerfell, sorry. Like magic users are not looked kindly upon. A red guard should be using his swords or whatever. Be a warrior. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah I, I do not like that fact there are right guard casters here. 
It does not sound like a proudly here. A leaker. A leaker. Yeah, whatever. Leaker. Anyway, so that was only took five minutes. The Ebony Blade should only take five minutes. Yeah. If, uh, smile on you, friend. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. The whole quest for the, uh, the Ebony Blade does not make sense, so. Like. Oh. Is this really what. Um, the best I expect you to pay for is these quests for the Dharma Mori House. Mori House was a companion of um, Alicia. And yeah, I mean companion, companion, as in share bed companion. I serve Jarl Bald. May the gods yes. watch over your battles, friend. Mm hmm I had this trouble with your children. Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. He was always a quiet lad, but lately, something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. He won't say a word. If you Oops. could speak to him, draw out the truth, I would be immensely grateful. Is that Nokia? Frofar. Absurd that you can't put good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. Oh, aren't you lovely one, Dagny? Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Yeah, your father sent me to speak to you. So, the disgusting pig sent you to bother me. One day, I'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone. <laughs> My father doesn't know anything about me. But I know about him, and about the war. More than he might think. Um, what sorts of things? I know that he still worships Talos. That he hates the Thalmar almost as much as the Stormcloaks do. That he worries about being chased from white... That he... That I'm... That I don't have the same mother as my brother and sister. How'd you know? This castle is old. Lots of places nobody's been in a long while. Places where you can overhear things. See things. And the Whispering Lady. Who's the Whispering Lady? She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I hear her talking to me. I thought I was caught, but she started telling me even more secrets. But I can't open the door. Where's the door? In the basement. Trust me, you'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you too. Until next time. Okay. Wrong basement. Mm hmm. Someone more fit to With carry Allah. out my will. The child is spirited but lacks agency. What could the boy not do? The boy is good at sussing out secrets, but the corruptibility of children is ultimately too limited for my purposes. <coughs> You, though, I expect will prove far more malleable. Um, not so easily molded. You may think so. But in the end, you mortals will always flit like fire with the winds of your desires and conveniences. And those winds issue from my whispers. 
What do you want me to do? First, you must open this door. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it. And even my eyes cannot see past the seals. Okay. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person, such as yourself. How do I open the door? The whole of White Run is ripe with paranoia and tensions. The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. Get away, my cup. Nokia. You. You know the Whispering Lady, don't you? I can tell. Nate, head open the door. I told you, I know everything about this castle. For some reason, that door is special. Only two people can open it. Balgroof and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. Nobody would notice if Farangar went missing, I promise you. Until next time. Dum 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 dum. So what he's saying is you can kill off Farangar at that point. Excellent work. Now, I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match. The description of the ebony blade you may know. It has languished too long outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. To return to its past glory, it must first drink the blood of deceit. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany my blade in the song of your grandeur. Right, so basically what I was saying is anybody you're in favour for who likes you, kill them off with Ebony Blade and it'll power up. Now the one thing I don't like is it's enchanted. So the power comes from the enchantment as you damage people with it. It's power will power up through enchantments, not actual sharpness. So the enchantment runs out, and that's you, you lose the extra power from it. Which is annoying as shit. Okay. So let's go see Malus Machius and see if we can get this quest done for him. Where's Chrysomir? Infinite energy, so... It's a fine day with you around. You might be wondering how you could actually make the ebony blade sharper with an enchantment. That's simple, the same way the Chrysomere works. It does not, um, it's a scripted effect in Chrysomere. When you equip it, you get a perk. The perk gives you 15% fire resistance and 10% magic absorption and slow health regen. But, uh, if you see, you had the ebony blade that gave you an enchantment, that the more people you killed that liked you, the higher the port of fight two-handed you got off it. That would be brilliant. Like if you had a fortify two-handed to one hundred percent at max, that would be brilliant as fuck like. If it's work you need, 
How about chopping up some wood for the fires? Yeah, if it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're gone. Is it? If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. Can't a man drink in peace? You even said you're expecting me. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. You have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? So you want, how do I get into this? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Okay, okay. Maven and I spent week. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Remember. So, for example, if I killed his soldier right now with the Ebony Blade, it would power up. But she's middle of the street and we're just watching so now. My favorite drinking buddy. But anyway, get some meat. Yeah, I'll kill him off. It'll power up the Ebony Blade. See what I mean? It's anybody who trusts you, anybody who's happy to see you, is will power up the Ebony Blade when you kill them with it. I think Danica, I'll put the they want to give you the quest for the Kinnerif. Kinnerif. There's a shine of Kinnerif and uh, we'll go get the Ebony Blade powered up in there in a minute. The Ebony Mail, sorry. What's this many Ebony things in this game? Yeah, yeah so Ebony Mail, if we go to the shine of Kinnerif, we'll get this crush released. Got the fleet of steeds in all the Skyrim. <sighs> Wait a minute, Chrysomir here. This is a good buy. If it was a little bit cheaper, it'd be better, but you know. I'd say it only should be about 200 credits, not 300, but. Nah. At least they're getting a better price now, is it, for a fucking Divine Crusader armor? They should really drop the price of that. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? What's up? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. I could help out. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Um, that's how I operate. Oh, very well. Ugh. Here's half. You'll get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. How do I permanently clear the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. Mm -hmm. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Okay. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Right, if you don't take your payment up front now, you won't actually get paid. It's a problem here. Because you're poisoning the rats and poisoning the meat as well, you didn't get a chance to pay you. Ben and Fang skeevers, by the way, have more health than a normal skeever. Not that it bothers me in any way, shape, or form.
See, he tried to poison me there of a disease. Slow poisoning off his um, steer tail is awesome, by the way. Hello, dog. Normally, I'd be sneaking through here, so it takes a lot longer to get through this. I'm just charging on through without giving a fuck. Now this guy here is actually pretty deadly if you're not like an overpowered piece of shit. Killing machine like me, he can be pretty fucking deadly to you. No, I'm not joking. Hamlin is actually a high power character. It doesn't matter what your level is, he's actually stronger than you. Well, up to a point. Like level 50 or something. Yeah, but yeah, he's a high powered character, so. He is actually quite a challenge. Especially if you're a thief that doesn't have much health. The whole point of FIFA is to sneak and not get caught. And there's a way, actually, way to do that. There's a rock that you can climb on top of. And it would, it's generally never able to detect you. As long as you're on top of that rock. Hello, doggy. I'll take care of you in a second. Right, that's be poisoned of that. You need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim. You're in the right place. Malice is teaching me everything he knows about brewing. Hopefully, I could take over his position someday. Sooner than you think. I can't well, wait something... to see Sam Well, it's about time. Sperm. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. What about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Yeah, see, you don't get paid. You have to get that payment beforehand. Well, Sebjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it <laughs> Cunning Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, have you... come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savoured. Have you noticed the problem here? He's not too... What? What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. <laughs> you, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Sabjorn. I hope. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? Um, I need to look at Sabjorn's books. 
So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Thank you. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Right, so if you're paying attention, you notice that that keg of meat was there all along. There's no way the poisoned meat could have got from that brewing staff fact to that keg in the time it took me to get out that door. That's for Delvin. Why am I picking an empty lock? Well, not even I can explain that one right now. Just because it's there, really. What's this? Black briar mead under his bed. Tisk, 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 tisk. Have need of Cyric, Cynric, Cynric Endel is the guy in the Fees Guild, and I believe he is the jailbreaker. Is that a coded message saying you're going to jail? <laughs> So half an hour for this episode too. I want to do the companions as well, just to get the bureau form put in. Or do I want to save it here and do it next week? If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's calling. Hail companion. <laughs> Yeah. Should we do it or should we just leave it till next week? Just think in there. The next companion quest takes us to Got the fleet of speed and all of Silverhand headquarters. If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim. Um, and it also gets you another shard of that or a Wufrad when Alel gives you a quest right afterwards. Do I want to or not? That is the question. Uh, I think no, because I've got to go up to my sister in law's house and deal with the dog for her because she's going to be busy at work and can't get back to see to him. So. That's about time I headed up anyway. So yeah, I'll just go we'll go cleanse the Lord's meal, then we'll end the episode. No, yeah. Oh, hang on. Cleanse the Lord's meal in solitude. I work with my mother. It's part of the fucking quest. It's fun most days. Uh. What are you looking at? Now people were complaining that you couldn't cleanse Orb's meal properly. You had no information on it. There's a fucking quest they're telling you to do it. Morons. But still, yeah. Did that help? Lord's Meal Crystal. Yes, so I have to go up to Solitude to do it. I hope the 
wilds claim you one of these days. Is that because I killed her husband? Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. Oh, the fever. My body. Right, so. Mister, could you spare a coin? Yeah. So, things we've got to do go see Farky. Farky, Farky. Bring has the dwarven cars, but can't see Well, no. Chugging Carbon, Carvin, Lord's Mill and Solitude. So, we'll get that next time we swing up that way. So probably when we go up to here to college, we're going to have a soldier in Tarnail. So after rifting, we'll run up to Winterhold, to have the Soul Gem Tarnail, and then from there we'll run across to Solitude, deal with Shadow Green Cavern and the Lord's Mail. And from there we'll go to Markarath, no. And then from there we'll head back down to Fog Reef because we'll have the thing analyzed at that point. Okay. See you all next week then. Bye bye.